What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street, and welcome to today's video. A lot of you guys have requested that I show you a little bit of outfit inspiration after showing you some back to school pieces. So here you have it, 12 back to school outfits. Starting with look number one in these light colored ripped up cropped Zara jeans. I really like these, they're really nicely fitted, they have a nice taper and they come with a couple of chains attached to them already, which is a little bit of a throwback to the 90s. I really like that whole chain movement coming back. On my feet you've got Bordeaux high top Converse and I'm kind of playing off of that color scheme with this long sleeve from Uniqlo U. Nice and boxy fit, pocket on the chest and that I'm actually covering up with this Zara overshirt in a cream color, so a nice neutral color combination for a casual first look. The second one, we're starting off a little bit more dressed up with these plaid pants. Now, you see they're a little bit more relaxed. I actually got them a size bigger, so they have a more casual vibe. A simple black sweatshirt up top, and then to really make it a lot more dressed down, these beat up high top black leather Converse. So first two outfits, Converse, because affordable, stylish, and to me, just like the ultimate back to school essential. And then I'm trying to bring the whole look back to like a little bit more of a fancy level with this backpack from Zara. I think Zara is really strong with backpacks this season. This brown leather backpack with the cream and some black details just works really well in terms of the color and in terms of the style. Look number three, we're starting off with a pair of navy five pocket cotton pants and a skinny fit from H&M. If you've seen my last video, you know that these can easily replace a pair of jeans in your closet. Up top, I'm wearing the salmon colored long sleeve shirt from Essentials which I really like, it's got a nice muscle fit, and then as I'm struggling to put on these shoes, they're actually from my boy's new collection. Alex Costa collaborated with BP at Nordstrom, they're available right now. A simple minimal white sneaker with a raised sole and a navy detail in the back. Finishing this look off with a light colored denim jacket. This one is from Levi's, obviously a prime destination when it comes to denim jackets. Look number four, we're also starting off with a pair of jeans from Zara. Now these have some white paint splatters all of them. They're a little bit rugged, but not really ripped. And I'm wearing a pair of dark gray suede Ankari Flores Chelsea boots. This is gonna be a little bit more of a bad boy look overall. You'll see that now I'm adding this super comfortable long sleeve and black. That's also from Alex's collection at BP, as is this leather biker jacket. So an almost all black look for like a little bit of more of a bad boy vibe, but it's also a little bit more mature than the first couple looks we saw, simply because I'm wearing a pair of Chelsea boots. Look number five, we're back in the navy five pocket skinny pants from H&M, and then picking up on that navy color with the Ankari Flores navy perforated Saturday sneaker. Now they're a little bit more classy than the other sneakers that you see on the ground and that you've seen already. I really like them and I still think they work well for back to school. They're just a little bit more dressy, but you know, at the end of the day, you can be a little bit more dressed up when you head to school. The white sole is now the base for the choice of the top. I'm wearing a Uniqlo sweater that is like a white and gray melange. And I'm finishing the look off with yet another Zara backpack in navy nylon. It's got a really subtle camel to it, which I really like, makes it a little bit more interesting black details and wrapping up look number five. For look number six, we're once again in the black skinny jeans from Zara. And now I'm wearing a white and black flannel shirt that's also from Alex's collection. I tried to honestly show you guys a lot of it because it's an awesome collection and, and it's really reasonably priced for the quality that it is. So now this might look like it's going a little bit more in a dressed up direction, but I wanted to counter that immediately by putting on this black bomber jacket from H&M. So obviously the tone of that is a lot more sporty and then I'm embracing that entirely with the Adidas night joggers in white with a few black details. So obviously we got a whole achromatic black and white look going on and that I'm really bringing home with this Zara backpack that I fell in love with. My girl got it in a black color a couple weeks prior and I just found out that they make it in white. So many compartments, got a nice, cool, sporty, but like practical utilitarian vibe, absolutely love it. For look number seven, we're in a pair of Hollister cargo joggers in a tan color. You may have already heard me rave about them. I really like the way they fit, nice and tapered, but not too bunched up at the bottom, which is oftentimes the downfall for me for a lot of joggers. And I'm wearing these Air Force One Mitt Utility sneakers. They just came out, they're just a regular, not a collab or anything, I love them so much. I don't know, I just haven't worn Air Force Ones in way too long. Then the white t-shirt up top is just the base for the sweatshirt, the black hoodie, which obviously you're gonna wanna have a hoodie in your back to school wardrobe. It's just comfy and cozy and it looks good. And that about wraps up look number seven. 
For the next one, back in the skinny jeans, we're now putting on a white long sleeve. So this is the same long sleeve that you saw before in black from Alex's collection, this time in white. And I'm wearing the all white old school Vans in canvas. So far, so simple, a minimal look, but you can easily throw in a little bit of color like this flannel shirt from Uniqlo. A little bit of navy, a little bit of purple with a few black lines to tie the black back into the outfit. A really simple put together look. Back in the Hollister joggers, we're now exploring the combination of khaki and black. Now you already see that the drawstring of these joggers is black, so I'm really just playing off of that with the black essentials Henley. And then I'm putting on these Adidas Supercourt. A lot of you guys had, had not complained, but like mentioned that I didn't talk about Stan Smith in the white sneaker video. I honestly think the Supercourt not only look better, but also are more unique because everybody's got the, the Stan Smith. Anyway, up top, I'm putting on a champion backpack that's a little bit crazy, so I used it with, a, with an otherwise fairly simple look. Look number 10, we're now in a pair of light colored chinos, also from Alex's collection. Like I said, the guy really put together a dope collection. These are nice and skinny. You're gonna see me roll them up just to create a little bit more of a nice line throughout the entire leg. I'm wearing once again a pair of high top Converse sneakers, this time in navy and white, and up top the gray version. This is now the third long sleeve I included from Alex's collection. The, the, the heather gray version um, for this, and then Similar as before, throwing a shirt up top, but not really playing with the pattern. In this case, more so playing with fabric and with color. Throwing up top a Uniqlo denim shirt, unbuttoned, and I really like the look of having the long sleeve peek out just a little bit. Look number 11, I needed to include these. I just wanted to show you guys how I would wear them, when I wear them, if I wear them. These crazy pants from Urban Outfitters with zippers and straps, I actually am rolling them up with the zippers, which felt a little weird, but looks better than it felt. On my feet, I've got the black and white Ankari Flora Sunday skater sneaker. So we're adding a little bit of contrast in here. And then up top to keep it super, super simple, a waffle knit long sleeve that I grabbed at Urban Outfitters. <laughs> so to finish the look off, I'm wearing uh, another Zara backpack. This is a super casual black leather backpack. And if you wanted to, you can honestly also just get rid of the straps to make this look a lot more wearable. Last but not least, we're back in Alex Costa's chinos, this time with the all-white Saturday Ankari Flores sneaker, straightforward, minimal, elegant. So you'll see that this could easily go into like a summer outfit. But then with the color choices and the items themselves, it's becoming a much more fall appropriate look. So we first got this unique little t-shirt in the olive green, and then we got a tan colored corduroy trucker jacket from H&M, creating a really nice earth toned color scheme that I'm finishing off with this olive colored hat. Now you guys had seen me ask you about this type of hat, um, which is also from Urban Outfitters and Navy. Uh, a lot of you guys said yes, some said no. I kind of have been playing with them, so I wanted to include it as a last little cherry up top. And now I owe you guys a few responses because I haven't really been commenting back to you, but I've been reading everything, so there's a few things I want to call out. I think going forward, we're just going to bulk it together and I'll respond to a few of the top comments from the past couple of videos if that's cool with you guys. So first and foremost, I wanted to uh, thank you guys for all the amazing feedback that I've gotten from you regarding the buzz cut vlog. I, I'm super happy with this. Uh, a lot of you guys were, were, were loving it. Uh, some of you weren't, but you weren't, some, some of you weren't before, and then you still are now, so you know, I can't, you know, can't please everybody, which is, is fine by me. I just really like seeing everybody's thoughts on that. And also how well it did. Like you guys really wanted to see me get my hair cut. <laughs> then a couple comments from the quick and affordable style improvements. The most like there were the best wardrobe investment for every man is a gym membership. Yes and no. I think definitely respect your body, but you might not necessarily have to go to a gym. You don't have to pay that money. You can also do calisthenics, go to the park, run outside and get shredded that way. Um, also, Rick Murillo asked when my fall essentials and trends video for this fall is coming out really soon. If you guys want to see it and don't want to miss out, make sure to subscribe right now. I'm working on it and it's coming out soon. I'm excited. I'm excited to talk to you guys about the fall season. I'm actually, as much as I hate summer leaving, I'm excited from a fashion standpoint for the season to come. Now a couple comments from the five best affordable white sneakers for back to school since we are talking about back to school today. 
Pro uh, Jeff actually said props for promoting other brands of shoes even when you own your own company. Um, a, a few guys said that and I, I thank you for acknowledging that. I wanted to keep it about, you know, budget and I wanted to stick to true to back to school. I feel like I wouldn't necessarily have been able to buy a $165 sneaker even though it's you know, a different, you're talking about made in Italy and like it's a different quality. Um, of shoe, but at the end of the day, it, it doesn't matter. I wanted to, you know, stay stay true to you guys and keep it authentic. So, um, as you saw today, I included a few of the cakes just because I had 12 different pairs of shoes, and I wanted to show you guys some variety. And then, like I said in the in the in the video just now, a bunch of you were like mad that I didn't mention Stan Smith. I'm like, I included the Super Court. I feel like they I feel like they outdo the Stan Smith, but maybe that's just me. Anyway, I. I also, I feel like most of you guys know about Stan Smith, but then again, you also know about Vans and Commerce, so... Personal taste difference. <laughs> so that's about it for today. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I'll see you very soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper.